Hello everyone, Clay Jones here with Fox Seals Disc Golf, and I have your tournament director, Michelle Jones, with me for commentary. Hello everybody. We are at the Spring Fling. Sunlink Solar, oh, huge man. sponsor for us at these events. Thank, Thank you, Sunlink. Thanks for lunch, Charlie and Karen. Hey Robbie, thanks for those putters you got me, man. That was really nice. Yeah, it was really awesome. nice. Get to New World, guys. Team CNS, uh, our complete network solutions guys, always very helpful on the course and the club in general. That's right. Chris Clark, thanks for everything, buddy. Par on, you guys rock. Thanks for your support. We'll be there soon. Yes, for sure. And Innova Disc Golf, it is a wonderful pleasure to be an ambassador for Innova. I love them very much. Yeah, thanks a lot, you guys. All right, there's the high fives. Boom, even giving some love to the camera people. You got to love that. <laughs> Here we go. Hole one is a par three. 284 feet. Yep. I think everything is in the A position for the first round. Is that right? That is right. So we should see a basket pop in here any minute. You can see our little drone tracker that uh, lets you know where you are there on the flight path. And Matt Tittle's going to start us off. Here we go. Local hero, Matt Tittle. I've been playing disc golf for a long time. Yeah, he's been playing disc golf since there was disc golf. <laughs> That's for real. Nice shot. Looks like he's right on the edge. Maybe a little inside. 28, probably. Edward Faulkner, super awesome Chainhawk member and Fox Hills promotion guy. Yeah, he's our rep. <laughs> Ed's only been playing a few years, man. He came from the softball deal and uh, started playing disc golf, and now he plays disc golf and not softball so much. His game has come along nicely. Absolutely. I think baseball and softball really lend themselves to disc golf. Just got throwing motion, you know. Went a little deep. Gave it a run. Yeah, so bring all your softball friends to come try out disc golf. Let's grow the sport. That's right. <laughs> Here's our boy Noel Smith, possum. Fellow possum member. Uh-oh, fingerlinger. He yanked that one. He's got so much distance. Yeah, he's got a lot of power. And that one's going to be a little tricky over there. Mr. Evan Gurthy, Team Pro Discus sponsored Gainesville guy. Yeah, he was, I believe, born on a local disc golf course here in Gainesville. Definitely conceived on one. <laughs> he grinds one in there, about 28 or so, maybe. Now you see Noel, he had to sort of pitch out and around, just basically an upshot. No, no look at all. Ed does have a look, though. Got lucky and sort of avoided the trees, and he's right down the path. Say about 28 or so, maybe. Bam. Count it. Good no way to problem, Fred good, yeah, good way to start, man. Very nice. I think Evan's about exactly the same, maybe a foot or two shorter. Oh, oh man, that just was about a little low. Yeah, about two inches low there. Matt, easy peasy, just tosses it in, no problem. All right, Noel and Evan will have to settle for the threes. No problem, lots of golf to go. That's for sure. Yeah. Ed and Matt with a good start. It's fun to get to commentate on this. As a TD, I had to not get to see it all, as yeah. we usually do filming. So this is fun. Yeah. Well, too, you can see the gaps, man, right off the bat there. It's a 290 feet. The basket's actually located over to the left. It'll pop up there in a second. There you go. So this looks a little tough to get to. Matt's going to get started with the backhand, and left your, unless you're left-handed, the backhand is pretty much the only way to get over there from here. He's got it through that first gap and the second gap, looking good. Watch out, camera guy. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> I love it. 
I got to put a highlight reel of me almost getting crushed by discs in the face. <laughs> That's the best. Well, it gets the best camera shots when it's you're in the, the right spot. It's the best. <laughs> A little skippy skip around oh, the edge of the corner, great. and uh, there you go. That's the least effort as possible to get there, man. Just yeah, that's pretty good. Cut the corner and skip it up there. No, it's a little freestyle action. I love oh, it. Nice, putting on a little show. Yeah, me and Noel like to throw the lids together. It's pretty good, and I got to get him going on the freestyle a little more. He's obviously got some skills. <laughs> Look at that little roller action. Get around there, baby. Oh. oh man, just cut it a little early around the old big log there. You have an interesting little putt over that. It makes it more challenging for sure. Yeah. Ev's gonna go the same play. Another roller. I love that play here. Just can't. Oh no. Yeah. You just can't hit him like that. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that not one, the start Evan is looking for. Not here. the start he's looking for, man. That one climbed the tree and is gonna be in rough shape. Well, that's a nice looking shot. Needs to hold the line. Ooh, it stabled up a little on him there. He's gonna have some work to do, man. That's a tough putt. Speaking of a tough putt, Noel's got this one for the two. He's definitely got a window though. You can see the bushes sort of split the way, and oh, good effort, man, right off the top. Now you can see Evan is buried in there. I think we're going to get a double camera angle here in a minute. And, uh, yeah, this is a rough, rough look. He's one of the best knee putters in the game, though. Oh, that was so good. So good. Just off the left side, man. That's going to be a drag. Almost. Just a little light. Good line, just a little more juice needed. <laughs> there, plenty of juice on that one, man. Head for another bird. Head with a great start. Two for two. And Noel with another par. Yeah, these first two you definitely want to get. Check out that hat. Oh, that's a sweet hat. <laughs> And Evan's going to have to sell for the bogey on that one. Drag. All right, Ed, for those two, man. He's going to put him two down, one down for Matt. Even in one over. Yeah, good start for Ed. Let's keep it disc rolling. DiscGolfCenter.com is your premier online disc golf retailer. We offer free shipping within the U.S. on all orders over $12. A live inventory of over 20,000 golf discs in stock. And the most competitive prices online, period. You're guaranteed to find the disc you're looking for, down to the exact weight and color. Visit DiscGolfCenter.com, the world's largest disc golf store. I'd like to thank the Disc Golf Center for all they do and all their support. Yeah. All right, there you go. You can see hole three, cruising around 260. This bad boy is something else. I don't know. You got it. <laughs> You really got to throw one down the line, and then you got to get it to turn right, and then you got to make it through about three more gaps. It's uh, it's something else, man. But it's a very obtainable shot. It's just uh, you throw it right or it don't go. <laughs> Literally right. You gotta take a right. Uh, I like to take that gap straight to the right. Yeah, I think Ed's gonna go the there. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yep. There's the line. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look out. Ooh, that was close. He buzzed the tower. Got a good break on that log there. Kicked him back, and he's probably 28 or so, 29 maybe. Matt's going to go down the path. Do the old flickeroonie. Oh, mm, little yeah. light on his flickeroonie. Yeah, a little light on the flickeroonie. <laughs> maybe... Noel's got the flickeroni. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a flickeroni. Oh, yeah. Sweet oh, skip. Yeah, that thing had some stability. Oh, that was sweet, Noel. Yeah, Noel's behind the basket. 
just about the same distance as Ed there. I think we can peek around the tree, and it's leaning on the back of that stump there. So he's a little inside, probably 25 or so, maybe 26. Looking good, though. All right, so we got another flicker. We're looking for the double flicker running. I don't know. Well, no, okay. <laughs> no skip shot. <laughs> Air shot. He came in pretty good there. He's uh, sitting about the same distance as everybody down there, except uh, Matt's going to have to make an up shot. Oh, yeah, you can see that one came in and back around right by the basket. He's in pretty good shape. Evan looks like he's maybe 30. Mm. Mm, just got a little left side. It's got two trees to deal with, but I think he's got a good line there, and no problem. Ed Faulkner, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's making a half in turkey, baby. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> See if Nolan gets something going here. He could really use a two at this stage in the game. Noel's a great putter, so nice bird. Yeppers. Gonna mark that CTP. Matt's gonna have to settle for his par. In the par for Evan as well. Faulkner's making it happen, man. Yeah. That's what you want. Hole four. It's a nice one, man. Beautiful, beautiful disc golf hole. It really is. It's one of my favorites. A little hill at the beginning kind of tricks your mind a little bit. Yeah. It's a little more challenging. And got woods on the left and woods on the right. Yeah, thanks to Team CNS, too. They just built up the uh, tee pad there and uh, really got that thing up out of the water, moisture area, and now it's nice and high and dry, so great job, guys. Gainesville chain hawks are so awesome. Yeah. It's great to be a chain hawk. Great to be a chain hawk. It's got one coming in nice, man. That thing did a little Ooh. work. Almost got the camera guy. Ooh. That was a close one. Yeah, that was really close. I think the zoom button worn out on him right there, too. So we're going to get a little replay of this, man. Just look at it. Did work. Did skip. Went underneath the camera guy. Very nicely done. Absolutely parked. I'm going to go ahead and call that four in a row. Good good start, Mr. Faulkner. Getting some love from Noel for sure there. Noel's got one crush. Needs to stable up a little bit. He's traveling through a good distance. He's just uh, a little right. A very common landing spot. Oh, I think that came out a little earlier than he would have liked. Yeah, he needed that one to flip up on him and didn't quite get the snap out of there and flip on him. So, he's going to have to scramble again. Oh, no. And yeah. I think uh, exactly the opposite happened to Evan there, and he's going to have a tough little up and down here very unfortunate to catch that he had one coming at the basket there so not not the start Evan was looking for I had one coming in nice and high and he's actually in good shape behind the basket back there that worked out somehow it came yeah kicked out of there he saw like the high, high gap and took it. <laughs> Evan with a great shot. Yeah, you see Noel, he's uh, got not much to, live, to work with here, man. Looks like he's going to go like a sky turnover sort of approach. Great shot.
And Matt for his three. No problem. Nice straddle putt. He had a little loggy stuff to deal with there, so good job. Very nice. Mm, sweet. Sweet five foot uh, turbo putt there. <laughs> and Ed with the tap in. You know, I was looking at the hole stats, and Ed was one of only like three people to birdie this hole. Yeah, I believe it, man. This is a tough hole to get to in one shot. And the exact opposite tail for Evan, so Ed just running away with it right now, man. What a great start. I still haven't gotten one of these shirts. No, so. no. If anybody in them is listening, uh, could you send me a shirt? <laughs> All right, this is one of the most beautiful holes in the course, man. Just wide open, rip it, OB right, OB left. Definitely, you're starting to get into the wind here, man. It's always some wind here. Got that slope to deal with. Very challenging hole. Very challenging hole, man. The pros here, it's just calling out your name for a two, but it was not easy to get a two on this hole. This is for sure the hardest hole on the course. It's easy to get a five on this hole. <laughs> <laughs> Super easy. <laughs> uh -oh. Ooh, man, that one almost popped back OB, so kind of got fortunate there. It's you kind of kind of put that little tree out of your mind, but... Yeah, what tree? <laughs> yeah. I don't see any trees. You can see there's always a little bit of wind there. Noel is one of the longest throwers in the game of disc golf, so... You just might want to watch this. It's 440. And he just yeah, straight well, hysered it about 90 feet past, 90 feet past, past, past it. it. Right. <laughs> Yeah, probably 70 feet past the it's basket. It's got to be hard to back it down for you big arm guys. Yeah, no, I'm not that big arm, but yeah, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> Matt got one. He cheated that tree a little bit and needs it to uh -oh. get down. It kind of didn't flip as much as he wanted to yeah. there. and uh, Oh, oh no. Uh, it did not get back in, so he's OB right there. Mr. Girthy definitely has a distance to get there. Let's see if he can lay down a nice one. Yeah, that one got a little high on him, man. He's not happy with it. No. It, it is in bounds, and I would be thrilled with that. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for something more underneath the basket, I think. Ed would have been thrilled with that, too, I think. So he's got a tough shot here. Yeah, still got a ways to go. And still got OB on both sides. And the slant. Mm. And some wind. Tricky. It's a tricky shot, man. You got a probably close to 400 feet left. We has got one hung out wide. That thing needs to It'll catch a little air back. bounce and some skip. Ooh, missed the pole of death. <laughs> I think it touched it, actually. Great shot. Give him a great look to save par. Matt has to make this to save par, and that is a tall order. Yes, but it's nestling nicely. Yeah, that was a great shot. You're not looking to make that putt. If you are, you're somebody special. <laughs> Heaven is somebody special. He gave it a good run there, and that one just got a little nose down and went a little early on him. So This is for the bird. Ooh, just got a little Ooh, high on him, high. man. He's going to have a little tester comebacker. Might have caught some wind on that one. Yeah. Ed to save par. Had the line just a little short. It's hard to get that uphill. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that was a very nice par putt. 
And Evan will have to settle for a par. Yep. Which Matt and Ed would happily trade him for right now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hey, it happens a lot on this hole. It's a tough hole, man. Tough hole. Yeah, so push Ed back down to three down and even for Matt. Alright, hole six, you can see. The beautiful fly over the path. And now they've actually added some a little row of posts right down there along the path. You'll see the video. It makes it definitely a little tougher. It's about two and a half, two feet maybe. Right, right. Uh, More challenging for me, for sure. Absolutely. No going with a big flick. And he got very unfortunate because that was a great shot. Yeah, and then we had this guy that didn't know how to get out of the park. That's not a road. Okay. Not a road. Huh. And then going with a big flick shot, super stable. Oh, that's looking. Yeah, it looked real good. Oh. Until oh. it hit that post. It's a little too long. Oh, man, that was a drag. Ed with a nice shot up underneath the trees right there. I have a putt. It's going to be a long look though with low ceiling. So. Uh -oh. oh man, that's a good looking line. I thought it was going to be a little low on those posts for a second, but it looks perfect. Oh man, that's pretty good. He's looking like he's about 20 or so out, maybe a little further. Ed's got a, maybe a Maybe 25, 30, in that range. Hmm. Mm, it looks like he putted about 22 or 24. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh, nice too. And these unfortunate souls are gonna have to make their way down and see if they can get their circle threes. It's really close right there. I think they can do it. Yeah, they look at uh, that. It's probably 12, maybe 15 feet max OB right there. So get your relief so you're another, you know, couple feet in. So. There you go. I guess it is a little further than I remember. I haven't played it in a minute. Very nice. Yeah, that's what you gotta do sometimes. You gotta take what you get, get out of there, and go to the next one. Mm, a nice par for Ed. That'll put a whole six in the books. Nice two for Matt. It's gonna take the pad on that one. Have you seen my book? Gracie and the Marvelous Metal Basket. It's a fun way to introduce the sport to little kids. Get your copy at discgolfcenter.com. Let's get it in every school and library we can. All right, guys, hole seven. It's just a beautiful disc golf hole. You got some undulating hills. You got some nice trees to work through. Very generous gaps, but all the low ceiling, undulation, and all the trees make it very challenging. You can get OB to the right, but it's pretty hard to do. Matt's going to be first up on the pad, and uh, you can see that nice tight line through there. He's got one up a little high. He's kind of flipped over. He's got a good line, though. That thing just hides it up a little early on in there, but hey, he's in a great spot. Yeah, he'll be all right. Wide open in the shade, almost hole high, so... Not nice. too bad. Well, with the wind test, you can see a little right to left. See the trees dancing around out there. It definitely had started picking up at this time. I 
I was going to crush, but oh man, yeah. he caught the yeah, he caught the thick part of that little limb right there, and it kicked him pretty good left. Nevin's going to kick one back in, and he just hung on to that one a little bit, and he also caught that stuff and kicked him down relatively early, so he's going to have a pretty long upshot. Mm. Yeah, it's going to give this one a look, see if he can get his backhand to slide down the middle of that nice fairway. <laughs> yeah, he's got one coming out looking good, man. He's running out to check it out. Just didn't quite get stable enough for him, but he's got a look. He's open, so I'll take it. That's a tough spot here. Did a little tree work off the beginning there, and just didn't do very good for him. That tree caught a lot more and disturbed the flight big time. So yeah. he's got a tough par. No, kind of held on to that one and. Got it out, it came back in, and he's going to be behind that stuff, so he got a tough look also. And that's Evan's par look. And he'll oh. get the four, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> nice up shot. Nice up. Yeah, it's got a pretty good look here. He gave it a valiant effort, just came up a little short. Oh, almost gets the two. Great run. Noel's got some stuff to deal with here. He's got stuff behind him a little bit and stuff in his face. Oh, I thought that and was that, in. That was a tough putt. Oh, my goodness. That one, I think, was just a little frustration kicking in. So, Not the way he wanted that whole turn out, for sure. And Ed and Matt, we're going to card the pars. And Evan, unfortunately, you're going to card the double bug on that one. So you're going to have to try to change things around here. All right, there you go. Ed with a par and Matt with a par, which is a good score on this hole. Yeah, one of the tougher holes on the course for sure. Hole eight, there's Amanda right there. You can see the arrow on the tree to the right, so you gotta stay to the left of that guy. And he's got a little drone flying down there in this nice wide fairway, but you kinda gotta keep it in the middle and then hides her back in. Sort of tempts you to come through this spot, but it's very rare that you get to punch through there and get up close to the basket. Right. That's got a really good looking shot coming in. Parks the other position and left himself a little work to do there, so that'll be an interesting putt. <laughs> See that sweet pickleball action going hard and heavy back there? That's not distracting at all, right? A very active park. It is a very active park. It's awesome, really. And Ed has saw that one off a little bit, kicked over, and he's going to have to work through the right side, which is like the little jungle side over there, so not ideal. Excuse me, the left side. And Noel's got one turned over, and just got to get her to stable back up, and just didn't quite get the distance or the turn he wanted. There's a gap over there, though, so he can get to the basket. Yeah, he'll have a somewhat of a look, but it's going to be pretty long. He's got some up high and stable coming in a little hot and early. But he's uh, right on the edge there. He's going to have a look. Go down and see if somebody gets some of this stuff turned around. We'll make some Here birds, man. Go. Let's get it going. Do it. I'd like to thank Dustin and Ian for coming out and helping with the cameras. Appreciate you. Yeah, you guys did a great me. job. <laughs> yeah, Michelle was a. Uh, I had no camera girl this time, so. <laughs> It's hard to TD and camera work in the same yeah, Absolutely. Event. <laughs> it's hard to do either either one. That is Definitely true. Definitely impossible to do both. Head's running it. Yeah, good effort. Yeah, he gave it a look. 
Well, that's got a pretty long look. It got a couple of trees and a little bit of a low ceiling. Mm. Yeah, it caught some branch there and knocked him down. But he's parked, so take the three. Evan wound up with a really good looking look here. Yeah, let's see about just outside Circle's Edge, maybe? Maybe, yeah. He looks a little closer from this angle, but just because he's a little closer to the camera, so it throws you off a little bit. It's a little further than it looks. Nice! Very nice shot. Finally gets a little something going. Yeah, his beautiful Annie putt finally hitting, right? Ed gets caught the bogey after going down the left side there. It's, a, it's, a half. it's not the best side. <laughs> the left side is not the best side. <laughs> and apart from that, and we're going to put big old hole number eight in the books. With the lone two on that one. All right, hole nine. You see the gaps. You got two gaps to get through, and then a couple more gaps to get through. Toughest hole in the course. Yeah, and well, it's uh, around the corner. One. And there you can see that basket. It's tough to get to. Yeah, it's a tricky hole. I like it though. Oh yeah, that's a great hole. Evan with that bird's gonna be first up. 370. I'm not sure if that's straight through the woods or around the corner. Oh goodness. Evan caught that first tree there and kicked he's him pretty grip locking him today. Yeah, kicked him pretty hard to the right. And Matt did the exact opposite. Oh, let go and also kick to the right, so I guess it's not the exact opposite. <laughs> Noel's going to see if he can get one through that gap. It looks a little generous from this side, but trust me, from the other angle, it's not. I'm going to need get a little up. biscuit action. Oh, yeah. Oh, cameraman. Ooh. Look out, cameraman. <laughs> that was cool. That was in your face. <laughs> Pretty exciting. The in-your-face cam. Here you go. Here's the in-your-face cameraman replay. Oh, look at it. Look at it. We oh, just, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. That's got pretty so good, fun. He's got a pretty good look there, too. That was awesome. <laughs> Crowd loves it. <laughs> Ed going to see if he can do a little of the same. Got that one just cutting the edge early and just didn't make it out. He got caught up on that left side rough there. Into the bushes. Once again, left side, not the best side. No. Not on this hole. Evan with a little bit of a throw out, but didn't really get out very far. Mm -hmm. So he's going to have a tough time here, too. Same thing with Matt. He's over here in really rough shape. So you see he just had to basically kick out there and... He's going to have a tough up and down from there, too. So, Evan went up high over the top on this one. Big skyzer. And came oh, down. Okay. Yeah, he's just probably about 35 or so out. Matt Tittle, one of the best rollers in the game. This is a thing of beauty right here, folks. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's the way you do it. That's unbelievable. From that <laughs> position where he was, incredible. Ed, I don't think has that shot, so he's going to go with his backhand here and uh, did not pay off. So he's going to have a tough look there as well. And it looks like he's going up high. Give it a bit of a putt around and great shot. Sit down, it's fine. Noel's well, got a look here. A little bird run. Mm. Almost. Yeah, Need a little more juice. Yeah, and got a little high and outside on him there and didn't quite make it in. Mm. Mm. Evan tickled him, but no bueno. And Matt actually with a great bogey save. That was impressive. And Noel's going to card the only par on this one, so. Yep, tough hole. Three is a good score on this hole today, it looks like.
And Evan's going to be glad to walk away from hole nine. Yeah. It's probably not super fond of it either right no, now. No. <laughs> I don't even think that uh, Noel was all that fond of it. <laughs> but Noel got the three, so that's going to give him the pad next up and we're going to go into hole 10 which will be the last hole in this segment thanks everybody for watching we got uh what 300 and or excuse me 232 feet here on this one yep straight down the gauntlet got a couple guardians around it so it is very tight yeah you got some ob to the right it's very easy to get to oh oh and oh he just did there you he? have it That's got one laced down the middle looking pretty good. That thing's flipped up and got some air time. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Got a nice tree and he's looking pretty good. Ed's going to see if he can get some backhand action going down there. Ed's got one turned up looking great. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Money. That'll work. Nice soft landing and nestled pretty good there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Evan throws a roller, looks like he's going to go air shot. Got something flipped up. Man, just mm. caught that last little tree or he would have been right down there. Yeah. All right, let's go down and see if we can get what? Do a little scrambling, do a little shake and bake. <laughs> oh, man. Evan with a Ooh. real nice run. Yeah, that was a good one. No wind up kicking tree, kicking fence back inbounds. But then, unfortunately, oh. kicked another tree on that one, and that one did not kick back in bounds, so he's going to settle for that for five. Not for Mr. Tittle, though. Yeah, very nice bird. Yeah, man. Evan looks like he's about 25 or so, maybe. Hmm. Evan's going to take the par on that one. Very nice drive for Mr. Faulkner there, though, with that bird. Yeah, that was a great one. Tough hole for Noel. We have to live to fight another day. Yeah, I have to settle for the double bogue. Yep. All right, that will do it for hole 10. That's the last hole in this segment. So it's going to leave Ed at two down, one down from Matt. Noel at three over and five over for Evan. We sure appreciate you guys watching this. I really appreciate my tournament director, Michelle Jones, here, and all of our sponsors. Thank you very much, all our wonderful sponsors. We couldn't do it without you. And thanks a lot for lunch, Charlie and Karen at Sunlink. You guys get out and get yourself some solar power and get some of that par on action, too, man. They got some good stuff. <laughs> for sure. What a great event. Always fun. Thanks, Anna. All right, guys. Please subscribe. It's free. <laughs> and share. Also, free. Share, like, comment. Yeah. Comment. <laughs> if they're nice. <laughs>